Guys, welcome in. I thought this would just be a fun little entertaining video of me responding to some recent co comments I've received on YouTube. Now, some of these are, I guess, nice. Some of them are not nice. Normally, with a YouTuber of my size, I, I'm going to tend to get a lot more uh, just kind of not hate comments, but I just don't have a big community. So there's not going to be a bunch of people that are supporting me and, you know, I'm really going to have to defend myself. So, you know, it's totally fine. It's whatever. The only time I, you know, have issues with comments and is when they're just straight up trolls. So looking, uh, this dude says a &M does not need a QB. LOL. They brought in two top tier QBs last two cycles. Yeah, dude, if you're an elite program, you want to bring at least one elite QB every single cycle. I see what you're saying. I mean, A&M could probably settle for a low four-star quarterback cons considering, you know, the QBs they've brought in. But still, I mean, they're going to be going for Dante Moore. They're going for a top quarterback. Their NIL is... Uh, Tennessee fans are grasping to be relevant. At Tennessee, it, it's getting sad with them. It really is with Carnell Tate. The delusion with Carnell Tate. You're not getting him. He, he's going to be announcing probably this weekend. Chargers, why are they so low? And the Eagles, yeah, I don't get it. Eagles and Dallas are, should be even. Dak, uh, Dak better than Hurts, but Eagles are pretty stacked everywhere. Yeah, so the reason I have Dallas over Philadelphia is just mainly because of the quarterback situation. Dak is, to me, significantly better than Hurts. Some people won't agree with that, but that's just my opinion. This dude, a 12 and 0 for the Texas Longhorns. <laughs> this Texas video is is I mean, it's got some staying power. It's getting me some okay views actually. It's getting like, you know, just consistent views every day. So hopefully that continues be as the season, you know, the off season continues, but 12 and 0, that's funny. Just a fan. I'm fine with that. Uh, so this is in relation to my uh, Brandon Innes and Carnell Tate committing video. Keep dreaming. OSU barely has enough money to keep the current team together someday. Y'all will adapt NIL. Till then, Tate is going to Tennessee. T yeah, Carnell Tate is not going to Tennessee. I don't know where Tennessee fans are getting their information. The recruitment is over. Carnell Tate has already filmed his commitment video. It's delusional at this point. Like I, don't, I have not seen a fan base do this where it's like, you didn't get him. So what? Just move on. Uh, bro, you're hung up about crypto. Stick to college football. I like the the t t the, the random two comment there. Go Vols. I have no issues with that comment. That's you know you're a fan. Uh, you have no evidence showing he's going to Ohio State. No inside source or anything. You are a joke, and it will be hilarious if you are wrong. Notice he says if I'm wrong. Now, if you really believe that, you should say when I'm wrong, right? And then I say LMAO. The recruitment is over. Give up. Yeah, buddy. It, there's no point in, in in wasting your energy on this recruitment. You're going to be severely disappointed. Bro, any... Oh, yeah, we had a nice little chat about Mateo Uilangile. U, we had a nice little gab sesh about him last night, me and that dude. Uh, wait, was that the same guy that criticized me for making a crypto video? What? <laughs> uh, it is. It was the same guy, so that is interesting. You're, oh, this dude, this music director, whoever, you're sleeping on the Bengals uh, and then didn't give an explanation, just defaulted to it's my personal opinion. Brother, I'm literally rapid fire ranking 30 teams, okay? It's kind of hard to give every little personal opinion on every team. And then I said, yes, I'm trying to rank 30 teams rapidly. Sometimes I can't give my opinion on every little thing. They made the Super Bowl in their QB's first year is healthy, blah, blah, blah. Worst offensive line in history. Uh, he says the video is 37 minutes long. You have time. How about you bet me then? Do, uh, do you realize how hard it is to make back-to-back -back Super Bowls? Obviously, he doesn't realize how hard it is to make back-to-back -back Super Bowls because he thinks the Bengals are going to. He says, yes, I do realize it, but they should be in the Super Bowl contenders tier. Brother, I'm telling you right now, the Bengals have a 0% chance to make the Super Bowl. So I'm not going to put them in the Super Bowl contenders tier. All right? Uh, what is this? My making my prediction for how the 2023 spring finishes out. For is this recruiting rankings? I would say Ohio State over USC. USC has a good average right now, but they're really, other than Deuce Robinson, they're not leading for anyone. Um, let's talk about. Oh yeah, this dude goes on a rant about the Tice Titans and then says that Austin Hooper is a good tight end, and and I had, I I just said. Austin Hooper is seriously the worst tight end in the NFL. Yeah, Austin Hooper, honestly, I don't think he should be in an arena league. He's genuinely horrifically bad at football. Just horrible. Just horrible at football. 
You never give any credit to any Minnesota team. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't even talk about Minnesota sports. Down bad bets. Bitcoin to 14K. Bryson Rogers will be the best, period. Uh, I can't agree with that. I think Bryson Rogers is good. Herbert was a top four quarterback in 2021. Yeah, this video was from a while ago, and it's it's getting views. I, I mean, I really can't count. I, this was from, like, January, bro. I, I don't know. My opinion on that crap has probably changed. Uh, I guess my comment about inside news, I know working for Vol's staff was removed. Removed from what? My YouTube? I didn't remove any comment. Um, you will know on June 21st. And then I said, want to bet. You know, if he thinks Carnell Tate's going to Tennessee, do you want to bet? What's the inside news? I don't think he has any inside news. He's making it up. And then this dude, please, please bet him. If he announces, he will drop the commitment video on June 21st in the next couple of days. Then I will believe you. I hope you're right. Well, I mean, you don't hope I'm right. I, I think he's going to Ohio State. If you're a Vols fan, you're going to hope I'm wrong. I, I don't understand that comment. Um, here you go, OU fans. Sounds like your wide receiver. I'm not an Oklahoma fan, brother. Or an Ohio fan. Uh, do you make much off of crypto? Um, dude, I'm not even invested right now. I'm waiting. Dante already visited Michigan six times. Dante Moore is not going to Michigan, bro. D don't, don't hurt yourself with the dream. It does make, this comment is so stupid. This person did not read the video at all. It So I said, you know, it makes no sense. Bitcoin's going to 14K. And I said, due to inflation, the value of Bitcoin should go up. And then this coin literally, this dude literally says the exact same thing I said in my video. But he just, I, I don't know if he didn't read my video. And then he says, stay humble. I mean, you just didn't, or you didn't watch my video, brother. I said, I, I put this in the title just because I thought, you know, it would garner views. Obviously, I was wrong. The video has like 40 views, but uh, the idea, it, 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 technically, it makes no sense. I get why people have less purchasing power with inflation going up, but Bitcoin should be more valuable when inflation goes up because you can't print more Bitcoin. Where's the commitment video? You're saying Carnell Tate is 100% going to Ohio State and I'm not seeing anything to confirm that. Uh, it's out there, brother. It's all over the boards. You're going to be disappointed. Move on. Go to another receiver target. It ain't happening for Tennessee. You can offer him six, seven, seven figures, $3 million. It's not going to happen. Nah, I don't feel bad for Tennessee. Uh, they're psycho fans. Yeah, they have a bunch of wacko people in that fan base. Dude, you feel sorry. That was a weird comment. I don't even know what that meant. Um, man, this man, this did not debate. I'm guessing he's saying, man, this dude did not debate putting Wisconsin in front of Michigan. Yeah, no, I think Wisconsin could have a better year than Michigan for sure. But I think I kept Michigan in front of them when I did the tier ranking for, for the uh, Big Ten. I'm a Terps fan, and believe me, I think they're going to shock a lot of teams this year. Yeah, Mar uh, Maryland has an extremely easy non-conference schedule, too. That's the other thing. I don't know about nine wins. I think eight... W yeah, nine, win nine wins would be a literal breakout year for Maryland. Eight wins would be really good. But they have three free wins in non-conference. Great video, DG. I get a... Yay, I get a nice comment. Uh, where do you? Where did you hear the number was 3 million? Yeah, honestly, dude, I j it's just a guess. But it's seven figures. I'll guarantee you that. The numbers should come out when Tate commits to Ohio State. Um, also, you don't think he and his family have already done their due diligence? This is Arch Manning. I mean, yeah, but the Arch Manning thing is weird. If you're Arch Manning, why would you... Go to either Georgia or Texas instead of Alabama if you really care about developing. Like, Alabama is by far the best situation for a quarterback, not Georgia. Georgia's current quarterback is going to be an undrafted free agent. Okay, brother? Stenton Bennett. I don't have anything that's Georgia. That's just the truth. I just realized how much DG looks like a young Conan O'Brien. I've never gotten that before. Congrats on the power back. Oh, that was... Yeah, that video, I mean, it's just hilarious. <laughs> this guy is a clown. Okay. Thumbs up. Brandon to USC. That's delusional, brother. That's just a fan. That's fine. Auburn worse than Florida. I don't, oh, I see that happening 100%. Auburn is in a, you know, way tougher division and they're, they're a dumpster fire right now. Notre Dame will beat Ohio State. Yeah, okay, man. I live in Columbus. Yeah, so guys, it was weird. When my power went out, I was actually looking up recent um 
like power outages across the state of Ohio and the state the the Columbus is just I don't know if they had they, apparently they had storms roll through and they had lost power for two days. My street was only like 0.03 percent of us had no power. It was just my street. Nick Saban would never lie. <laughs> Nick Saban is a lying again. <laughs> That's the video title. Nice deforestation, man. Yeah, I did get poison ivy. Thankfully, I've got the poison ivy contained. At this point, um, it was just on my arms. I think what happened, I was weed whacking and. I mean, I was probably weed whacking a shitload of poison ivy in it. And like the, while I was weed whacking the juice, like, you know, when you cut into a plant, you can like squeeze the juice out. Like the poison ivy juice probably got onto my arm because I was chopping it all up. You know what I'm saying? That's just, I guess what I think happened, but I think I've contained it. I got poison ivy. I mean, I've gotten poison ivy when I was younger. I got on my penis. I, I've gotten it. Um, on my face because I have contacts. So I have to put, I got it really bad about three years ago in my eye because I have contacts and I literally have to touch my eye sockets when I take my contacts out. And I'm guessing I had poison ivy re resin on my hand and my eyes swelled up. But now I get take it so seriously. I'll literally wash my hands. If I think I have any sort of poison ivy, I'll wash my hands in hot water like three times before taking my contacts out or putting them in. But hopefully I've contained the poison ivy. It's just a few little dots. I mean, I, it's just tough. Like, what am I supposed to wear? Long sleeves? It was like 95 degrees and I was trying to do a little deforestation. Summer vlogs. Yes, yes, yes. DG vlog. Amazing community. I like this list. Uh, I'm a Bengals fan putting Burrow at three. Okay, yeah, dude. I don't even remember this video. I'm sorry. Maryland should be above average. I did put them above average. That was my one team I did. 100. I see them beating Michigan State. Yeah, I don't think they're going to beat Michigan. Maryland beating Michigan State. Is that game in Maryland? Maybe they could beat them. They ain't beating Purdue. Maryland's not beating Purdue? I think Maryland could beat Purdue. I would make them the favorites. Go Bucks prediction for Ohio State 2023 class. I think it's top four at least. I think it's top four. Georgia will probably be above. Alabama will definitely be above. And then we'll see with AM and their boosters. So then that probably slides Ohio State into fourth, in my opinion, for the 2023 class. Y'all funny with these fan base appeasing videos. Alabama logo is just average. Dude, Alabama has a clean ass logo. I'm not trying to appease their fan base. They don't even have, Alabama fans don't even watch my videos, dude. Let's fucking go. Da, uh, go blue, Dante. It's not happening with Dante Moore. Um, Utah, I don't know about that, man. Only non-SEC teams are elite on a regular basis. Oh, the only non-SEC teams are Ohio State and Clemson teams. Like I think that's how I ranked them. This is another video from a while ago. This video got resurrected, guys. You love to see something like this when a video does starts to... Like, it was getting no views, and now, like, I guess people are searching for the offseason or searching college football rankings. That's honestly why I started doing more tier lists because this video got resurrected. And I put out an NFL one yesterday that I'm hoping is kind of a, a slow burn type video. You know, maybe it gets like 300 views a day during the offseason. That's kind of my strategy. Uh, Thomas didn't have a ton of yards because he didn't play for a bit. Yeah, but that doesn't explain him having 21 rushing touchdowns and only 1,100 yards. That's just a crazy discrepancy. Yes, the moment we've all been waiting for, DG has finally posted a vlog. It's an amazing community. It's an amazing community. The on-field temp will likely be 110 degrees. Yeah, that's crazy they put that game on at noon, man. For te This video is doing, honestly, kind of, I like the way that video is doing. Clemson is not elite anymore. I mean, you can't say that after one year. They just got a, a superstar quarterback. I, I, I think they are still elite. You're, you're overreacting to them just having a down year. You're way overrating Florida. I don't think I did. I didn't put Florida in a, in a contender. I, I said they were, I think I put them in, I mean, maybe I put them in conference contenders because they're in the East. Funny how your opinion on YouTube, uh, Utah's logo changed. In the Pac-12 video, you ranked worst, but here it's the highest. What Pac-12 video? I don't, I, never, I don't even think I ever did a Pac-12 video in my life. I don't know what he's talking about. Utah has two logos, though. This is this is the better logo. This logo you see right here is the better logo. Uh, there are reports that one of his family members is pushing him to get money 
Dante Moore, oh yeah, total NIL, total NIL with him. I'm a Buckeye fan and uh, should be biased, though the logo honestly is average. Uh, I think it's a, it's a badass logo, personally, Ohio State's logo. Uh, bro, Tennessee is way better than Maryland and Florida. Um, yeah, because I p- compared Tennessee to Maryland. I don't know if I agree that Tennessee's way better than Florida. How do you know that? You don't even know how good Anthony Richardson is, bro. Like, what's the point of even saying something like that? I'd switch Florida and Tennessee. Okay, maybe people do think Tennessee's better than Florida. Six and six for Texas. Well, I can't argue it based on what they've done recently. Mississippi State. Oh, come on, man. I, I Mississippi State is so overrated. Iowa State, Mississippi State, and Utah State are nearly identical. Yet there was a very you know vast difference in how you rated them. You overrated Indiana. I put them as average, bro. Like, ugh, I don't even know. How were people making blanket statements about me ranking fucking logos? Like... Obviously, your opinion's going to be different than me, man. I, I don't know what to tell you. More rankings videos, yes. More tier lists don't even need to be college football related. Yeah. I mean, I don't know like what tier list would get me unique viewers though, bro. Great video, DG. I had to like that. You disrespecting me by putting Maryland in worst. I randomly liked that one. Love the video. Could you do ACC? I was going to do ACC, but these videos are not doing too well right now. Maybe it's the off season and there'll be a slow burn and they'll just accumulate views over time, but they're not doing well. Great video, but Arkansas and Arkansas State both deserve GOAT status, not Arkansas. I love Arkansas State's logo, though. He will still be Irish. Dante Moore, zero chance, bro. Typical ESPN BS. This is nothing to do with ESPN. Akron's was so clean. Oh, yeah, their old logo. Are you talking about their logo with the um, the cursive? Issue uh, with this is if you're a conference contender in the SEC or Big Ten East, then you're essentially a playoff contender. Well, yeah, those are the two hardest divisions. How is ECU, how is East Carolina below average? I I just think it looks like a a child's, you know, Pirates baseball team. IDK, UT allowed 170 yards more than, didn't they lose? You, Texas destroyed you at UTSA last year. I did not understand this comment. Uh, the U is one of the most iconic logos. How is it average? It's just the U. Thank you. Thank you for deven- defending me. Uh, there are two types of people who tell you cannot make a difference. Um, this, is, I think, is a bot. I'm trying to remove all the bots. Lost me with Georgia. Clemson went to two championships and Georgia did as well. Yeah, so I looked back at this video. This was a video I did in January. And I should have had Clemson in the ultra elite tier. Or excuse me, I should have had Georgia in the ultra elite tier at this point. That was a mistake on my point on my part. If you invest in the stock market, you're a fool. Lord have mercy. You're a genius regarding college football. But my fellow brother in Christ, Bitcoin and other coins are nothing short of a gamble. So, I mean, so is the stock market, man. I... It's just, to me, cryptocurrency has such a greater potential than the stock market. That's just my opinion. Clemson needs to be in conference contenders and are not ultra elite. Dude, you're just overreacting to one down year. Toss Clemson. People really are overreacting to Clemson. And they still won like 10 games. 8 to 10 wins, number 4. What the fuck? What the hell? Um, Yeah, no, I like you at USC. It's a gamble, though. Um, I think I've responded to enough of these comments, honestly, man. This is most... I'm trying to find maybe um, a good comment that you're so wrong on Iowa. Offense, you're right, we're garbage, but that's every single year. Dude, I think I put Iowa in like the average tier. I don't know how you could say that's so wrong. They got destroyed last year in the conference championship. Tanner Morgan is is Minnesota's QB. (laughs) Coming back for his 20th year, huh? That got three upvotes or three likes. I didn't even... Is Tanner Morgan still seriously at Minnesota? (laughs) Iconic ending to the video. I gave that a nice like. Minnesota is going to win the West. Wow, there's a lot of Minnesota fans that like that. They should definitely be in the conference contenders. No, they should... Minnesota? Maybe I got Minnesota wrong. But if Minnesota is... Tanner Morgan is not even good. Like, that's the problem. I will buy Bitcoin if it goes to 10K. That would be crazy, man. That's a crazy drop. We're looking at 14K right now. 12 and 1, there's a loss in there somewhere for USC. Oh, absolutely there is. Ronnie Beltora's ACL and a punt return, not a touchdown reception. Um, Okay. 
Fleming should have went to Penn State. I see Marvin, JSN, Emek. Yeah, uh, it's going to be interesting with Fleming, Fleming man. Huge L. a and did not cancel their bowl game because they were scared of losing. Yes, they did. Third, um, third comment. I see seven wins for seven wins Stark. I can't disagree with that at this point. Favorite video of the year so far until the vlog. You know, it's a, it's a nice little video I did on crypto. This is just what I need today. Might, might buy one Ethereum. You know what, man? I would wait on Ethereum. Ethereum could really start free falling. Uh, it's very interesting. Big on ADA. Oh, I love ADA. Cardano. Gr great technical analysis. That's a great comment. Seconds. Okay. Dude, Tennessee lost to Kansas last year and may not even have a winning record this year. Um, they're going to have a winning record. Let's go. Oh, a Discord. A, the Discord link. Wilt Fong logged a crystal ball for uh, Ashbury to ND, but apparently, yeah, I did say they didn't have a chance. That was just me speculating. Okay, that was that was a that was a bad take by me. First, Texas is going nine and three. That's realistic. That that'd be good for them. About scheduling the Alabama. I'm not gonna read that. We love some Buckeye football. Woo! He's a duck. Dante Moore. He could be. He could go to Oregon. Absolutely. I don't think your channel can survive all the thumbs down you're getting. I, I, you want to know the good news is YouTube removed. You can't even see how many thumbs down. I'm kidding. No, my channel has about 91% like to dislike ratio. But then I guess your hate is a labor of love. So I guess as a Texas A&M fan, hey man, that's fine. What's that? Discord. Yes, the Discord. Guys, the Discord is, is, is pretty quiet right now. Total disrespect to Oklahoma State, Kentucky, Purdue while overrating Texas, Tennessee, and UCLA. People were saying I was underrating Tennessee, though. No, I love UCLA. And Oklahoma State, I'm really not high on. Maybe I, I mean, I did Purdue. Purdue has no playmakers, brother. This guy may have set a record for getting in arguments with oneself. When you talk for 50 minutes, you're going to do that, man. Why don't you go talk for 15 minutes? 50 minutes. A lot of these people don't realize. They just, they don't realize. Every year it's Michigan is elite. Only one possible place to stumble Ohio State. Not, then nine out of 10 years, they suck. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I could see Michigan disappointing this year. They've just got an extremely easy non-conference schedule. Um, okay, guys, I think this is, I really have responded to a lot of these comments. Fleming is a bust. I, I would not call Fleming a bust. I would say he's been injured. He really has barely played. I don't know how you can call him a bust right now. Texas A&M is a playoff contender in 2022. I don't think about. I don't know about that. They, they have a new quarterback. No experience there. I would put Notre Dame around fourth or fifth in recruiting. Yeah, I could see them having the fifth overall class. I think they very clearly will finish behind Ohio State, Georgia, A&M, and Alabama. Maybe also USC, depending on how many people USC sign. Irish top-rated recruiting is back. Future is extremely bright. Definitely better recruiting than Brian Kelly. Setting the stage for higher competition needs to improve. Um, so a lot of I, a lot of Notre Dame fans responding. Love will be okay. So these are just all uh, recruiting comments. It looks like um, t -t -t Texas is better than average. Did. Yeah, I just, it's tough, man, with Texas. It's tough to gauge. Ohio State is going to crush ND. I agree, it's going to be close to that score. 52 to 21 is, is a really good prediction. Who are you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Tex, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> Texas starts their practice at 11, so it's no change for them. Dude, what, what does, practice time has no correlation with starting a freaking game against the number one team in the nation at a like what dude what what about Tate Martell top 10 biggest recruiting but yeah Tate Martell was barely a five star I can't include him it's not like he was a top 10 player we will not see 59 touchdowns I know but I would love to see it it would be awesome but yes they you're probably right they will sit CJ Stroud in the third quarter in a lot of those games they they win by a lot also how many times did Stroud play yeah I know what you're saying man Wilt Funk still has Tate Crystal Ball to OSU. Yeah, Heartline is ridiculous, man. Part two. I mean, I would have done a part two that the video flopped. <laughs> I'll be just be honest. You missed on a few of these. Of course I did. It's a dream class. Dabo has gotten players for... Okay, guys, I, I, I'm i really... It's going on 30 minutes, I think. No, I don't know about 30 minutes, but I just figure I respond to some of them and... 
that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.